Hey guys, it's Janet. Um, I told you guys I would update you when I got out of my appointment. Um, I've been out for a while now. Um, like I said yesterday, I had to do blood work yesterday, and uh, we were hoping my numbers were going down. Well, apparently my body really wants to be pregnant. My numbers went up. Which, if anybody's ever had a miscarriage, you know that your numbers go down. Um, so as soon as she said that, of course, I panicked. I was going in my head, oh my gosh, I took the medication, I killed the baby, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then she said, well, let's see what's going on. Because she said it was really odd. Well, there's still no growth. The sac is still the same size, but now there's a yolk sac inside which she said, for seven weeks pregnant, that's not normal. And she said also the the circle around should be a lot bigger. Um, she said, there really is no hope for the pregnancy. <laughs> but she said, my body just won't even take the medication, won't give up. <laughs> this is smoky. Sorry. She's like being a pain in the neck. Um, so the plan is to take the medication again. I just took it a little while ago. I have to take it again tonight. Um, and then I go back Thursday. And they said more than likely we'll have to discuss a DNC because they said if my body is refusing to give up this pregnancy, they don't know what to tell me because it's... It, there's, you know, to let it go naturally, they said I can go up to like 13, 14 weeks. Because <laughs> um, they said if it was a normal, you know, plated ovum, they said typically it starts to get smaller and smaller and smaller and that's it. They said, but basically at this point, where my numbers are still going up, they're a little worried about my body maybe going to 14 weeks and then then finally naturally doing it, which they said then can cause, because there's nothing living there, it can cause infections, and that's, they're concerned with it possibly becoming fatal at this point, because if it, if, that's why they want to do a DNC, because I know some people, I know I had one person write that, oh, you shouldn't do it, you shouldn't do it. I don't want to do a DNC, but... <laughs> If I'm looking at another seven weeks, possibly, I would like to, in seven weeks, be finding out I'm pregnant again, not finally having this pregnancy done with. So, my body wants to stay pregnant. I want to stay pregnant, but... At least I know that there's really, there is no hope. They said there's no hope for this pregnancy. So, I don't know. I'm just mad and I'm frustrated. And please, if anybody else has gone through this type of thing, please, you know let me know because this has definitely been a very hard you know I always thought that a miscarriage you have a miscarriage and that's it but I know everybody does their videos after they've had their miscarriage and I know I'm probably the only one that's done it throughout the miscarriage um, so like I've said anybody else has gone through this please write to me um, I don't know, I might do another update tomorrow. Who knows? No, probably not. I probably more than likely, if I do another update, it will be tonight letting you guys know how the round two of the medication has gone. And then, you know, I have today off because they don't want me to work with while taking this medication because of the cramps and all that. So I have to wait until Thursday and hopefully Thursday morning at 9 o'clock because they're like, oh, well, what time? And I'm like, 9 o'clock, first thing. Because <laughs> I didn't sleep. I got up at 4 a.m. And my appointment wasn't until 10. So I'm not sleeping again because, it, you know, I was hoping to hear today, oh, your numbers are a 1,000. 
just a little bit longer and you guys can try again. DNC, I know some people say, oh, I get pregnant, they got pregnant two months, uh, two weeks after. Because basically, um, when you have a DNC, most people, your HTC levels bottom out, which that's my doctor's only concern is because that bottoming out can cause postpartum depression because it's an imbalance. And I had postpartum depression with my daughter really bad, but that was more because my work was in their idiots that I work for. Um, so that's her concern. But I don't know. I'll update you guys. I have blood work to do tomorrow, but I really don't even feel like going. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.